Hello my lovelies. It is Sarah from I Swear I'm Stitching. Today is Flossmas Day 22. I don't know why I check. I wrote that date down all day. <clears throat> this is a floss tube about cross stitching mainly. Sometimes I knit and uh, sew. Flossmas is daily videos leading up to Christmas in December. Um, mine are advent heavy. Advent focused. Sorry. <laughs> Beagle distraction. Don't she was fed here. Oh, there's called lady. <laughs> She's mad because I'm. I stopped giving her treats. Um. So yeah. So nothing much happened today. Worked. It's supposed to drop drastically. I'm sure a lot of you have heard about the weather sweeping the nation. So uh, I can't remember if we're supposed to get snow, but it's supposed to go from like 40 to like negative something. So that's a huge drop. I'm supposed to get freezing and some crazy ass wind and the camera's at a weird angle. I'm like weird looking. Anyways, so fingers crossed we don't lose power here. Fingers crossed I lose power at work. If I didn't have to work, that'd be great. Cause then I'd be off till Wednesday. Oh, glorious. Okay, so Cross all your fingers and toes that uh, my place of work has no power tomorrow. I'm not that lucky. <laughs> okay, so that's it. That's all my life updates. Nothing going on. Uh, yeah, all right. So let's jump into Advents. So um, because my boxes were so empty, I just kind of merged everything into one one little box. So it took up less, less space on my table so I don't have any like boxes to hold up and show you anymore. I think all I had to show you was the Cabinet of Curiosities box. But we'll start with that one. So I randomly picked one out of the box. Oh, this is Merry Christmas. I thought it said Jiminy Cricket. Ugh. Making noises over there. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Lord of Misrule. Okay. Popular in medieval courts, a jester or clown, sorry, I was looking at the item, <laughs> would become mayor of the city for the Christmas season, suggesting all sorts of funny things that everyone would have to do. In exchange for acting as a sacrifice to bring good fortune to the people, the Year King, as he was known, was allowed to enjoy the favors of any woman and to command any favor. Oof. The Lord of Misrule was allowed to order anyone to do anything, and at the end of the festival, he was sacrificed. Okay, so maybe... Okay. <laughs> Some folklorists claim that the appointment of a Lord of Misrule comes from a similar custom practiced during the Roman celebration of Saturnalia. In ancient Rome, from 17 to 23 December, a man was chosen to be a mock king, a man chosen to be a mock king, was appointed for the feast of Saturnalia. As societies gradually converted from paganism to Christianity, they retained many of their pagan traditions, including the concept of the Lord of Misrule. He was not sacrificed at the end of holidays, but he shared many traits with his pagan counterparts, including the ability to ignore usual social conventions and permission to order any favor. Monarchs spent lavishly on their holiday celebrations supervised by the Lord of Misrule and was often used as an excuse for a display of excess. Eventually, the celebration was banned in 1541 by Henry VIII. Wow, it took that long to ban that? But it's uh, like a, what is that a? Is that a Ford Lee? It's my name, Mardi, Mardi Gras. It's a pen. Is it? So I keep pins on these baskets over here and my kid collects pins. So if they don't want it, I'll pop it up there. Man, the Lord of Misrule. How did we ever make it this far? How did we ever make it to 2022? Okay, so now we're gonna do a Fabric Pop, 12 days of sewing from Fabric Pop. Sorry, my stand is super wobbly today. Again, using my son's camera. 
Oh, that's cute. Oh, you know what? I know someone who would really like that. One of my kid's friends. Really big into Converse. If I can get them out of here. They're like, uh, you can use them as like, what are they called? Place markers and stitching. Like I have on the sock, I'm going to like this. I have like a place keeper. Um, or you can use them as zipper pulls, uh, anything really. Like pop, pop them on anything. So it's this cute little smiley, purple smiley face. This super cute, which I'm going to put on a bag immediately. Purple iced donut. Or is that chocolate? <laughs> That's chocolate. It looks purple because it was reflecting in my shirt. And then this high top shoe, which I think I'll give to my kid's friend. I see they're just on a little dangly bit so you can just attach them to like bags and things. Very cool. I'm very happy with that. That's super adorable. All right, day 22. From the Black Seal, no, Black Needle Society's nice list. I did not scratch off. But I can use that to scratch it off. <laughs> Gonna shake my camera. Don't get sick. Also, this camera's at a weird angle. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what's in here. Stan. The bags are so easy to open. I'm not sure why I always have a problem getting it open. Atomic Heart Thread Hearts. Exclusive Advent Box Collection. The collection includes 12 thread heart floss drops, round labels, and 2-inch storage ring. Grinch's Heart Themed... Oh, Grinch's Heart Thread Hearts. Adam Heart Cross Stitch. The Grinch's Heart grew three sizes one Christmas. Just large enough to store thread for a new project. I didn't scratch off now. Now, I'm going to share a very unpopular opinion. I hate the Grinch. I hate Dr. Seuss. I do not like Dr. Seuss. I only ever read one Dr. Seuss book to my kids that I liked. And God, I can't remember what it is now. Mr. Brown? Is that? I kind of liked Redfish, Bluefish. Otherwise, I tried my hardest not to read them Dr. Seuss. If they brought home, doc especially my daughter, because she was more the reader. If she brought home Dr. Seuss or she wanted me to read Dr. Seuss, I would oblige. I would do it. I was a good mommy. <laughs> but I did not seek it out. When my son got into a Dr. Uh, Seuss phase, of watching, he loved the movie The Lorax. Oh my God, I wanted to die. It was so... <sighs> really don't like Dr. Seuss. Anyways. Luckily, these don't look Seussian. They're just pretty little hearts. I'm not sure why there's all these cutouts. Because this is the weirdest looking thread drop I've ever seen. This is very, very, very weird looking thread. Very pretty. I love that green. That is a gorgeous green color. But I don't particularly use thread drops. I don't particularly, oh, this one's got like some brown in it. I don't particularly, I, yeah, I don't use thread drops. I do like the rings though. I do like when people send me thread drops and I get extra rings. So these are probably just go into a bag of other thread drops that I will eventually find someone to give them to. I mean, I use them when I'm desperate. Understand. I've never seen a thread drop with a little slit. So it's got, you know, the big hole, little hole, a little slit, and then that. I wonder if I watch the Black Meal Society video if they'll explain that. Gives it a very cool design. But yeah, I won't use them probably. So although I already have a small bag full of thread drops to send to somebody or give away eventually although i'm trying to put them in order i'm not saving them <laughs> i'll put them back in their little oh wait, wait there's something on the back oh okay thread hearts are the original embroidery floss drops you can wrap like a bobbin for convenient storage 
you're up like a bobbin. Am I too stupid to understand how you wrap it like a bobbin? <laughs> so stick it there and then wrap. Mm. These floss drops include an extra wide hole for easy floss ring storage, space to easily store a full skein of floss, an accessible oblong cutout to store all those leftover floss bits. Uh, okay, I see I see that. That is that is nice. The added cutout at the bottom aids in bobbin winding for easy storage. I don't okay. Probably won't keep them, but it's cool. I don't know, you guys. Let me see. I like the fabric, fabric. And that was okay. I like the notepad. I like really liked the needle minder. Mm, thread. The funds bank was cute. I do like the little women bag. Fabric, thread, autumn stitchery. I'm, I do like that. Oh, the Bitsy Keep. I already forgot about that. Scissor fob, enamel penguin. I'm not wearing that. The mug. Okay, I was trying to think if I, <laughs> if I liked this box, but then I'm, as I'm reading it, yeah, I liked a lot of stuff from it. Okay. I don't know why I, I doubted it for a hot second there. And then my Bake My Day cookie. Oh, we're on the last row. Day 22. Oh. But holly and berries. It is. Oh, it's a pretty green. I'm gonna sniff it. Oh, more gingerbread. I love gingerbread. Oh, that one's a little hard. They've all been pretty soft. This is the first one I've gotten that's been kind of hard. Mmm. Like really crumbly. Hmm. That's not bad. Still, her flares are still spot on. I've been watching too much British Baking Show. I want to give her a handshake. But this one is harder. Can you see? Save it for my kid. Well, I'm looking at that. Oh. No, save the rest for my kid. My husband made gingerbread bars and they're all gone. So this is giving me my gingerbread fix. So now we'll go on to crafting. I'll show you, I'll go ahead and show you that I've got some work done on my sock recently. I don't have the info with me. I think this is Lang Wool. I don't know the number. I got some more done on the cuff. I knit my socks, quote unquote, stop shaking, two at a time. I knit a toe and then I go to the other sock and knit a toe. Then I knit the foot, go to the other sock, knit the foot. Heel, heel, cuff, cuff. Leg, leg, cuff, cuff. That way they're finished really close together and I don't get the dreaded second sock syndrome. I mean, if I finished this whole sock and then had to go start another one, I'd be like, oh, God, I have to knit that same freaking sock again. I'd be very disappointed. This helped it go quickly for me. This pattern, I can't remember the name of the person. It's from Unravelry. It's called like the Haystack. I think it's free. You're supposed to knit top down, so it's supposed to be this way. But I'm a toe up girl, so I just knit it the way it's written. So it's Upside down. <laughs> I don't really care. I think it still looks cute. Looks kind of like a honeycomb. And I'll probably do... This is four repeats of the pattern. Nope, I lied. One, two, three. Three and a half repeats of the pattern. I'm going to try to do it for five. See, I have enough yarn to do five before I start the cuff. So there. There's that. I'll show you the other sock, but it's still in the bag. And it literally looks exactly like this. Only it stops here. And, uh, and how much do you love my sock blockers? I got those in a Star Trek swap ages ago. They're like one of my favorite things. And then for stitching, um, I didn't get as much done at work as I thought I would, but I, got, I made a good a good dent. It's the Flouts Cat Flout <laughs> Clouds Factory ABC Dinosaur Sal, and I'm on Dinosaur Z Zingongosaurus. He's a big, tall, like, he's a tall, long guy. So I had like, this, I think just like this chunk of head done. So I got all this done at work today. And then I, I, sure enough, I got through all of the 164 in the body and I'm now out of 164. So I'll have to restock eventually. This probably won't be finished before the new year unless I find uh, some 164 in a random project bag because I have um, some 
foliage to do in 164 over here and like under his tail. So I'll get as much done as I can. And then we'll see how much I get done at work tomorrow. Cause like I said, I don't have any good luck and the, we'll have freaking power there. The whole town will be out of power, but my store, my shop, my place of work, we don't have power. It never fails. And assholes will be like, is it five degrees with 50 miles an hour wi uh, wind and like it feels like it's negative bazillion outside? I'm going to go to the BMV. <sighs> Anyways. There we go. I love it. I can't believe it's going to be my last dinosaur. I'm going to be so sad when this is over. Excited. And I want to frame it right away, but I'm not going to because I have other things to frame, to pay for framing first. But look how pretty. My dinosaur is. Oh, he's so cute. Makes me want to watch Land Before Time again. And, you know, cry like I always do. I'm a big baby. Okay, that's it. I just want to remind everyone that if you go to Flossmas Day 22 and leave the word peacock, you can be entered into when this Lindy Stitches Silver Bells pattern is from the nice list box. I will not stitch it, so I'm happy to pass it along. B18. Be 18 so I can have your address so that I'm legal and non creeper. Um, live anywhere, I don't care. It's gonna go on a flat envelope. Um, don't say giveaway, all that fun stuff. I think that's, I can never remember if that's all things to say. <laughs> but go back one more video, day 22. I'm not sure when I'll draw the winner. Maybe my last Flossmas? Probably my last Flossmas. You that on my first roll of floss tube after Flossmas. We'll see. But there it is. All right, guys. I think that's everything. I just I can't believe I've only got like a couple more days of Advents left. And then I literally wrapped my husband's last gift yesterday. My son's gift to his best friend and his girlfriend. We wrapped that tonight. And there was one other thing that I did, wrapping wise. Oh, I took my gifts to my to work for my coworker, and then I'm like, I'm done with gifts. And then I get the fun of trying to shove all that fucking candy I bought into three not so big stockings. <laughs> I always think that's not enough candy. And then I go to look at my box of candy, and I'm like, where did all this candy come from? So yeah. My husband's stocking usually gets the overflow. <laughs> Anyways, babble, babble, babble. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope if you're in the States or anywhere that is having this cold storm, I hope you're warm. I hope you have power. I hope you stay warm, stay safe. And I will see you tomorrow. I hope if I have power. <laughs> Bye.